Next up, we're going to be doing the Impoppable with No Monkey Knowledge over here on In The Loop. So we're going to head there with Quincy as our hero. And to get things started here, we're going to place down Quincy right over here on this little yellow leaf. Right there. Pack is ready. Then we can press play. One. So we are just going to use this to get our first monkey sub down. And that monkey sub is going to go here all the way down in the bottom area of this puddle. Could also be a lake. It's a little hard to tell with the graphics. Yes. We need 390 here, which we're feeling a little more because we're on impoppable instead of doing chimps, which we're going to do right after this. And we do have something special for chimps. But we're going to place down this monkey sub right here, down until red. We want to see across this lane here. And it didn't place my tower there. That was interesting. Tasty. We're going to get the longer range upgrade here to give us just a little bit more vision over to the other side here. It helps us get these balloons popped on the first look. As we can see here, we're getting most of them popped pretty quickly there. A few get through, and that's okay. It spent the entire round there stacking them up. We're also going to get the twin guns here and save up for the airburst starts. Airburst starts are really strong. I know we use them on pretty much every map that has water, and I think that's what the devs want us to do. It's one of those tower upgrades that's really OP, but they know that it's OP, so it's okay. And at 1200, that's still pretty high priced. We're almost to that 1200 anyways. We're going to buy that as soon as we have the money because we're super excited to have it. Just need 600 more. And then we have our advanced intel, which at that point we can start showing the cool stuff we have going on for this strategy. Right there. Once we have the airburst starts, we can get our wizard monkey going. The wizard monkey is going to go over here in the bottom left of our screen, right above the track. Left until red, down. Left until red, down. Right there. At that point, we're going to come back over here and place our alchemist in a spot where it won't buff Quincy. In this case, I like to use this big leaf here. And then go to the left a little bit more, just as long as we're not within range of Quincy. Right there. See where we're still on that leaf? Tasty. Getting the acidic mixture dip here is pretty important so that we can pop the lead balloons and don't take a bunch of risk. We're also setting this to strong. Now we're going to sit here for just a minute while we save up for the Berserker Brew as we want our most powerful tower to get that extra buff to it. There we go. At that point, we're going to come back over here and save up for the fireball and the wall of fire. The wall of fire is our speedrun strat here. Helps us pop everything right as it comes onto the map which is a ton of value for us. We're also going to get the intense magic and the monkey sense. More. And here on round 33, we're seeing exactly why we want that monkey sense. Those camo balloons are spending a bunch of our time going all the way through here to get to Quincy. But now that we have this upgrade, we're not going to see that anymore. 
We can also come back over here and get the airburst starts. So we grabbed that triple guns there just to give us a little more power on our monkey sub, which we've spent most of our money on here. Definitely has most of our popping power. We've spent a lot of money on this wizard monkey over here and it really doesn't pop a whole lot for us yet and that's okay. It's going to be giving us a lot of speed here later on in the run. Now we just need to save up for the unpopped army, which does admittedly take a little bit of time here in the early game. But we can see the value it's giving with the front of our screen damage there. Watching the pop count just go right on up. This monkey sub is popping way more at this point though. Get ready to feast. We're going to grab the unpopped army there. We don't need it here for round 40. But we can see now that the monkey is on the front of our screen. The grave is constantly going up. Constantly popping. And moving us really quickly through these rounds. We can see we're just popping everything even off the map. So we're going to come back over here. Place down our monkey village. It's going to go left until we touch Quincy. Up. Right there. Looks like we're touching Quincy there. Down. Left. There we go. Bigger radius jungle drums. So now we just need a little bit more popping power, so we're going to get the stronger stimulant, and we're also going to get the faster throwing, as we're going to have three monkey subs over here. And this really isn't going to get any value from the perishing potions. So grab that faster throwing in this case. We're going to get the monkey sub over here. Down until red, to the left until red, down, left, right there. Get the advanced intel, and then also get the bottom path upgraded to the armor piercing darts. Gonna take just a little bit here, but we're still moving at a good speed. We're gonna grab the armor piercing darts on this one as well as this one. Doesn't matter which order you get these on, but make sure when we come back later for the sub commander, we get the sub commander on this one because it's going to get the preference of the buff from the alchemist as it's much closer. And now we have those two going. We can come back over here, down until red left until red. We want to make sure we're within range of the monkey village, so if your monkey village placement was a little different, you can maybe come down here. If you're not getting that look right there and get it. But this is not as good because you're going to be closer to the alchemist and taking up more of those valuable buffs. So down here, left, right there is good. We're going to get the advanced intel and then the ballistic missile while setting this to strong. And then here at this point, we have a really good build going, right? And what can make this go as fast as possible? Well, we're going to do the best build we possibly can here and place down a monkey ace over here all the way to the left as much as possible as we want to give it its own space so that we can buff it later. So that looks good. We're going to upgrade this to the fighter plane and the operation dart storm while grabbing sharper darts. We come back over here and get the radar scanner so that this can see camo balloons as well. And there we go. And now we can save up for the Sky Shredder with just this set of towers, which is pretty impressive, right? So we'll be getting that Sky Shredder in the early 80s, which is pretty good. The earlier you have the Sky Shredder, the more value it's going to give you. And once you have a Sky Shredder in your build, it's really powerful because 
you know you have enough damage from mobs and you can focus on other things. And then Sky Shredder plus a Ninja Monkey with the Sticky Bomb is really good for round 100. Most other builds with just those two towers can deal with round 100 no problem. So that's why we're going with this build here. Because we can deal with pretty much anything else we're going to run into with the monkey sub combination and the Operation Dart Storm while we save up for the Sky Shredder. This is also going to help really soften anything that comes onto our screen. Even though it's only popped 60,000, that's way more than some of our other towers over here. In fact, it's more than all of these other towers combined at this point, and these are getting the Jungle Drum buff as well as the Alchemist buff. So that's pretty impressive, right? And this tower is really starting to get the value that we wanted as well. Popping mobs with the sharper darts upgrade does so much damage. Although it doesn't really move until there's mobs on the screen. It's not very good at anything other than bombing mobs at this point. And we're only about a third of the way to our Sky Shredder. But surely things will speed up here soon. And right there you can see it doesn't do a whole lot. And then it spikes again. See that? Pretty crazy difference between mobs on screen and no mobs on screen. And when you have stacked mobs, oh yeah, that's what this tower likes. And in this amount of time, we've popped almost 4,000, not even, right? Come back over here. This is at 100,000 now. Crazy. At first, I didn't really like the Necromancer with the Wall of Fire, but here I think it really helped us get through this level quickly and efficiently. And I think it's really bridging the gap in power as we save up for the Sky Shredder. Right, we're floating 30,000, which is a lot of extra money to not have. So we're doing pretty well. More. We're also lucky the monkey subs are still pretty decent with the stacked balloons there. As that is a pretty scary couple waves of balloons onto your screen. Luckily we have such a good looping structure over here, we're able to do what we're doing. And we just need 14,000 more, now 12,000. And things are slowing down again. Bunch of camo balloons there. We're happy we have the radar scanner. Shimmer is good, but it can't do everything for us. And only 4,000 more to go for a Sky Shredder. And we're going to deal with this ZOMG, just real quick. Bring. 
And here we go. So right here on round 81 we have a Sky Shredder online. That's pretty strong. And once you have the Sky Shredder online you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can come back over here and get a sub commander. But one thing we're also going to do just really quickly here is come over here and put down a recursive cluster so that we can pop these balloons as they come onto our map pretty quickly. So we just do this. The bigger bombs and the heavy bombs so that we can pop clustered balloons pretty well. And then we come back over here and start saving up for the sub commander. This may seem like a strange choice, but it does help us out quite a bit. It also helps keep some of the pops up here for our wizard monkey. As we can see, our grave is always really full here. So we're getting a ton of efficiency out of that wizard monkey at 175,000 pop. And we see there, once we pop the ZUMG, there's all those stacked mobs there. We get really good value from the recursive cluster in that situation as well. Just need about 12,000 more for the sub commander. Sub commander is pretty good here. And we should be getting it right before we get into the late game where DDTs are a problem and monkey subs are really good against DDTs. The Sky Shredder is no slouch either. If anything, what this build lacks is AoE. There's our first set of DDTs right before we get the sub commander. But then again, we also already have a Sky Shredder, right? So a little bit of a trade off there. Now we have that sub commander going. We can come back over here and get the MIB. Everybody loves MIB. And the sunglasses are pretty cool too. All those stacked DDTs, not a problem. And they're going to be even less of a problem here in just a minute. And there we go. So now we can come over here, place down an alchemist. We just want it to be within range of the monkey village and close to the sky shredder. So right here looks good. We're going to upgrade this to the berserker brew stronger stimulant and then get the perishing potions. Right there. And now we need to prepare for round 100. So we're gonna place down a ninja monkey right over here. To the right until red. Down until red right there. We're going to upgrade the bottom path here to the flash bomb. And then we can also upgrade the middle path here to remove the camo and level up. This is going to help the bomb shooter see stuff that's camo. It's a little bit late, but it's still better than nothing. And then here we can use a sniper monkey or anything else we feel like. Just make sure that it's not within range of the alchemist. I like to use the sniper monkey because I think Ninja Kiwi wants us to stop using the middle path here. Go ahead and get the supply drop as well. And here's round 100. Tons of Moab damage, right? 
And that's in the loop, impoppable, with no monkey knowledge. And our monkey star was our Sky Shredder. We got super early, over a million popped. And just over half of our pop count came from that Sky Shredder. Pretty cool and interesting build there. And that's all she wrote. <laughs>